Okay, some of you um, would like to make a first derivative graph, and it's not terribly easy to do in graphical analysis. So I'd like to show you as briefly as I can how to do that in Google Sheets. What you're going to need is to get your CSV, so comma separated value file, from graphical analysis. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is to just export the CSV up in the file menu. Uh, I, I don't have <coughs> graphical analysis app on my laptop for some reason, so I can't remind you of how to do that, but I know that it's from the file or that little page icon in the upper left hand corner and just export as a CSV. Open that in Sheets or convert it to Sheets and you should have something like this as your volume and your um, pHs. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to graph the volume and the first derivative. So I'm just going to copy these cells and paste them. But instead of pH, I'm going to do the first derivative. Derivative. Now, first derivative. And then all my volumes are going to be the same. So I'm just going to grab, I hit an equal sign, and I'm going to make that equal to whatever A2 is. And then go back to that cell, click on the corner, and drag it down so that all the cells will have um, the same values as what they were initially. And then the first derivative, remember, is the slope at any particular point, or it's the tangent line to that point. So the slope is changing y over change in x. So I'm going to write the, a little formula at the equal sign. And then change in y, that's b3 whoops, minus b2, that's the change in the y value at that point, divided by the change in x, so a3 minus a2, and that's the slope, in this case negative 0.05. And I'm going to drag that down so that I can copy that formula into every cell. And so now, if I want to make some graphs, I can just highlight my data, in this case the pH and volume data, and if I go to the chart wizard, insert a chart, I can make a line chart, or I, I prefer personally a scatter plot. So there's my pH versus volume, and you can see there's my first equivalence point, that jump there, and my second equivalence point, that jump there. And on the first derivative graph, I can make also a chart that shows how the first derivative changes as volume of base changes, and there you can see, here's my first derivative chart. Um, we can use U row 1 as headers, and so then it knows that it's volume and um, the first derivative. And you can see, here's my, uh, my spike at the first equivalence point and my spike at the second. Good luck.